Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Welcome. We will continue analysis of variance. So, uh, I am writing one way analysis of variance. So, the word one way is coming from only one factor with different levels. Different means A levels. So, last class what I have discussed that is also this one, one way ANOVA. Okay. So, we will we'll see uh, the same example uh, the calculation and also we we'll see that how ANOVA is used for hypothesis testing of the equality of different level means. So, let us see this last class you have seen what is the formula for computation of SST you have a number of levels you have n number of replication, you have individual observation y i j, everything is subtracted by their grand average and you make the square. This is what we have given. Now, this can be simplified to j equal to 1 to n, i equal to 1 to a then y i j square minus y dot dot square divided by n. Okay. So, what are the differences? y i j you know this y i j, but what is y i dot dot? y i dot dot is some total grand total. What is n here in this case? I have a levels each level n replication. So, n equal to a n what is y i y dot dot this is the grand total total of all y i j and then what if I write what is this this is grand average that I have discussed in last class. So, this is the second one for if you use S S T equal to this this makes your computation easier. So, this formula we will use for SST. Now, similarly, you can compute SS treatment, but in SS treatment, what I have said, you have n replication against each level, then i equal to 1 to a different levels. So, every level you have average, then minus grand average this square. This is what we have seen in the last lecture. This can be written like this y uh, i equal to 1 to n then y i dot the square minus y dot dot square divided by n and here it will be 1 n square will come here. So, that means it is nothing but 1 by n i equal to 1 to n y i dot square minus y i dot dot square divided by n. Okay. So, that means every row total square take their sum divided by n and this portion is the correction factor or I can the this y dot dot square by n that will be subtracted. Okay. These two you calculate S S T and S S treatment. Then S S E simple subtraction S S T minus S S treatment. So, this is the formula we will be using. So, I am I am repeating the sum square decomposition the total total sum square S S means sum square equal to treatment sum square plus error sum square. 
this is SST equal to SS treatment. I am repeating this because this is very important SST error. Okay. Now, another important concept is that what is the degree of freedom? DOF means degree of degrees of freedom. When you are computing SST, what is the degree of freedom you are you are enjoying? So please come to the the SS total computation. What I have written here, SS you in order to calculate SS total, you have n number of observations attend. N number means a n capital N, this num amount of data you have, but for every time you have subtracted this grand mean, grand average. So, you have estimated grand mean that mean one parameter is estimated here which is subtracted from this. As a result what happened as every time you are subtracting this, so what happened? you eventually in this computing this statistics this is total you have n minus 1 independent observations for computation of this one is lost. So, that means this equal to a n minus 1. So, what I mean to say the degree of freedom for this is n minus 1 or or you can write a n minus 1. Okay. So, it is something like this suppose I have given you x plus y plus z equal to 15. So, what is the degree of freedom you have in this calculation? You have two degrees of freedom the reason is if you write this 5 this 10 then this will automatically become 0. Same thing happens here, same thing happens here. So, long you as soon as you put up n minus 1 number of observations here the nth observation capital nth nth observation will will automatically be calculated. So, you have effectively n minus 1 freedom. Okay. So, now what about SS treatment how much data you are you are actually enjoying when you are calculating SS treatment. When you are calculating SS treatment you see that you have a number of observations only this i equal to 1 t that is varying. So, a number of observations again this grand mean is calcul computed. So, that also coming from this a number of means. So, 1 degree is lost. So, that means you have here a minus 1 degree of freedom. Okay. So, then n minus 1 degree of freedom here equal to a minus 1 plus this degree of freedom also what happened the total degree of freedom remains for calculation of error already here a minus 1 degrees of freedom in here 1. So, what will happen you have n minus a degrees of freedom left to calculate the error and you see n minus 1 equal to a minus 1 plus n minus. So, that means not only the total sum square is divided into two parts like sum, sum square treatment and sum square error your total degrees of freedom is also divided into two parts then total degrees of freedom is equal to treatment degrees of freedom plus error degrees of freedom very very important concept. Okay. Now, I will show you that uh, the ANOVA table come to this slide. So, SS treatment SS error by subtraction and SS total by this formula n minus 1, a minus 1, n minus 0, this degree of freedom is there. So, you calculate another sum square which is known as mean square. What is this mean square? Mean square is the sum square divided by degree of freedom. So, that means your ANOVA table will be like this sources of source of variation number 1. In this example how many source? One is treatment, another one is error and then the total. Total is nothing but treatment plus error. Then suppose I want to know what is their sum square. So, sum square treatment 
then sum square error then sum square total and you know how to compute this sum square treatment the formula already given to you. Now, what is the degree of freedom? Degree of freedom for treatment is a minus 1 for this equal to n minus 1. So, this will become n minus 2. So, total degrees of for while calculating SST degree of freedom is n minus 1 while calculating treatment degree of freedom is a minus 1 then remaining n minus capital A minus a degree of freedom for SST. Then what is mean square? Mean square means that this is nothing but SS by DOF. So, SS means for the respective one. So, I want to know MS treatment. This will be SS treatment divided by A minus 1. You want to know MS error, which is nothing but SS error by degree of freedom. SS error by degree of freedom. Okay. So, in this ANOVA table, you see that everything is there. Apart from this, there is another quantity called F0. F0 is nothing but MS treatment by MS0. So, we, we are interested to know also another one which is F0 equal to MS treatment divided by MS error. Okay. So, that means this is nothing but SS treatment by degree of freedom by MS treatment. Uh, SS error by degree of freedom. If you recall that in the when I talk about sampling distribution, then I have given you that SS this one follows chi square distribution with n minus 1 degrees of freedom. So, here what happened SS treatment follows chi square distribution with a minus 1 degrees of freedom and m s s error with n minus 1 degrees of freedom and this is the ratio of 2 f 0 is the ratio of 2 chi square variable weighted by their respective degrees of freedom. If you know that f distribution we say chi square nu 1 by nu 1 then chi square nu 2 by nu 2 where nu 1 is the numerator degrees of freedom nu 2 is the denominator degrees of freedom. So, that is why this quantity is also then then this will be nu 1 and nu 2 chi square nu 1 and nu 2 is like this. Now, you got one quantity F 0 which is that S s treatment by a minus 1 degrees of freedom and S s error by n minus a degree of freedom then this will follow F distribution with a minus 1 and n minus a the numerator and de denominator degrees of freedom respectively. Okay. So, this is what is given here. So, so find alpha I will tell you later on, but a minus 1 and n minus a, n minus a is nothing but a, a into a n minus, minus a. So, that means a into n minus 1. So, now you have to you have to you have to do the hypothesis testing. What happened? You have computed a f computed f is f 0. How do you compute? Once you know m s treatment and m s error you are in a position to compute and you know how to compute s s from the data then you will be able to compute this one. So, this follows theoretically suppose this is this following f distribution something like this. So, this is our f distribution p d f of probability density function of f. So, what we inter are interested to say that whether there is difference in the means of the different levels. So, if there is no difference then what will happen m s treatment and m s e will be equal. m s treatment and e almost equal to m s e. 
what is mec it is error this is a random one the error what is occurring here it is because of random so again that ms treatment the le different level effects also equal to random error effect means there is no effect that means the different means are not different the means of diff at different levels are not different not different means are not different means at different level treatment levels are not different so this is my h0 mu1 equal to mu2 equal to mu a other way i can write h0 tau a, tau i equal to 0 and h1 tau i not equal to 0 how tau i equal to what is tau i tau i equal to mu i minus mu now if mu1 equal to mu2 equal to mu a this will be nothing but grand mu then because mean of means this will be this so if mu i become mu then tau i is mu minus mu that is become 0 so our h0 is no effect h1 is there is effect so other way I can say if there is no so under this null hypothesis this quantity this quantity follows F distribution if H0 is true this quantity follows F distribution ok so what we want then so this is the F line so any value possible let from the theoretical side so this may be far away from somewhere we will create a threshold value for F so this one will be alpha so then this value is f a minus 1 n minus a into alpha if that this is known as the tabulated value so if your computed value f0 is greater than or greater than equal to tabulated value f alpha a minus 1 n minus a then you reject null hypothesis what is the null hypothesis there is no treatment effect or mean of of the response variable at different treatment levels are not different that is what is h0 so from this you are in a position to say that it, that there is the null hypothesis true or false if it is false reject null hypothesis ok so let us see the example same example here ground clutter different level low medium high average our three three levels low medium high mu1 equal to mu2 equal to mu3 h1 they are not equal maybe at least one is not equal need not be that all three are not equal but at least at least h1 will be at least mu1 not equal to mu2 or mu2 not equal to mu3 or mu1 not equal to mu3 if any one or more of them satisfied that is what is h1 then there is at least one pair which is different now using ANOVA table all this what we found out that f value is 2.27 and if I consider alpha equal to 0 0.05 that means 5 percent error is considered type 1 error is error is 0 0.05 then the tabulated f value is 3.46 so computed f value is 2.27 which is less than tabulated f value 3.47 so as computed value does not exceed the tabulated value you you cannot reject h0 fail to reject our decision here is fail to reject reject h0 so that means there is no treatment effect or if you change from data from uh, uh, collateral level from low to high there is no difference ok but it, you may not accept it because uh, conceptually or from actual field you observe that there is a difference uh, if this is the case then the data what data we have e used data collection either data collection is wrong or the data we have used uh, maybe the data from another experiment we have used differently actually that is what we have done here the original data is uh, basically with, with two factors and with uh, with uh, that one uh, noise, noise variable that operator but here intentionally what I have 
the same data set we kept, but individual label uh, factor we are here clutter label we are comparing. So, so maybe th th that may be the reason, but whatever may be the thing the procedure is like this. So, now see the another one that power data that is the each rate case. Here what happened when we are doing all kind of uh, calculation and finally, making the ANOVA table you see we are getting the computed F0 is 66.80 and tabulated one is again if I consider uh, this one uh, that A minus 1 is 3 and here uh, error degrees of freedom is 16. So, 3 into 16 degree, uh, degrees of freedom then we will find out that value is that value is much lower than 66.80 and in fact, the probability type 1 error is less than 0 0.01. That means, in the second example case, the things are coming uh, somewhere here, this side, this much error is there. So, if my threshold value is here and my actual the computed value is falling here, so that what does it mean? It is satisfying the second one. So, reject is 0, that means, the different um, power uh, levels are affecting the mean each rate for the second experiment. Okay. So, thank you again and it is again the Montgomery book DOE. Thanks a lot.